To illustrate Fabric's capabilities, I'll be working on a simple tutoring database containing students, subjects, and tutors. Since the focus of this course is Fabric, not database design, I'll keep the database as simple as possible. Once you understand how Fabric works and how to establish database relationships with it, you'll be able to create more sophisticated applications on your own. Fabric gives you the option of storing data in the Joomla database or in a separate database. I'll use the Joomla database in these videos, but here's how you would add a connection to another database if you'd prefer to do that. First, you would need to create the database in your hosting account. For example, you can easily do that in a cPanel account with the MySQL databases option. You would set up a new database connection in the Fabric Connections page. Fabric automatically picks up your Joomla database and calls it the site database. In order to set up a new connection, click New. Give the connection a name in the label field and enter the database connection info including the host, database name, username, and password. Set the status to published and save the information. Once you've done that, your new database will be listed in the connections page. I'll use the site database so I don't need to make any changes in this area. I'll begin by creating a list to hold information about students. Select lists from the left menu. Click New. Label is where you give a name or title to your list. I'll call this list Students. You can add a brief description if you'd like. Initially, Fabric can be a little overwhelming with all the different pages, tabs, and options. All the features are what make it so powerful. There are many settings available in the various tabs. For now, I'll leave them all at their default settings. Next, I need to enter the name of the database table Fabric will use to store the data for this list. You find that under the Data option. In the connection field, all we have is the site database. If I had added a new connection, it would also be shown here. I'll name this table OST underscore students. Using a unique prefix like this for your fabric tables makes it easier to locate them in other database software like PHP My Admin. Primary key is a field in a table used to uniquely identify a record. Since we haven't added any fields or elements to this list yet, this field is empty. I'll save the list by clicking the Save icon. Now if I go back to the Data section, the primary key has been assigned to an ID field. The ID field was automatically created by Fabric. That's all we need to do for the student list right now, so I'll click Close. All the lists we create will be shown on this page. Currently, we only have one list called Students. If I click Forms, you can see there's also one form named Students. Fabric automatically created this form when I created the list using the same name as the list. Clicking Groups 
shows that a group also named students was created. The elements column shows there are two elements in the students group. If I click elements, you see the two elements, ID and date time. If you have a database background, an element is the same thing as a column or field. The ID element shown here is what Fabric automatically selected as the primary key, which we saw when I created the students list. To review these initial concepts, a Fabric list stores data in a designated table using the selected connection. Typically the connection will be the Joomla database, but it can be another database. Elements are the individual columns or fields that make up a row or record in a table. Elements must be assigned to a group. You can have multiple groups or just use a single group for a list. A form displays one or more groups of elements and is used to enter the data to be stored into the list. When you create a list, Fabric automatically creates a form and a group with the same name as the list. It also creates two elements, the ID field, which will normally be your primary key, and a date time field. Visualizations allow you to easily display data from your lists in different formats, such as charts, graphs, calendars, and maps. Fabric packages are still in development, but at some point packages will allow you to export an application you've developed with Fabric for use on another Joomla site.